Australia is famous for its dangerous wildlife, including venomous snakes, massive crocodiles, and huge spiders that could give anyone nightmares. However, these modern creatures are nothing compared to the prehistoric giants that once roamed this land, beasts so massive and terrifying that today's animals would seem harmless in comparison. Our journey begins about 60,000 years ago when humans first set foot in Australia. Imagine walking through the bush and coming face to face with Thylacolio carnifex, the marsupial lion. Forget everything you know about modern lions, this creature had one of the most powerful bite forces of any mammal that ever lived, strong enough to crush a skull in a single chomp. Its front teeth worked like industrial bolt cutters, and it had large retractable thumb claws that could slice through flesh effortlessly. Although it was about the size of a modern lioness, standing 2.5 feet tall at the shoulders, it had a terrifying advantage, it could climb trees. Now, picture a 250-pound predator, built like a bulldog on steroids, silently waiting in the trees before dropping down on its prey. Since humans and Thylacolio lived at the same time, they likely encountered each other, and some unlucky people may have ended up as its dinner. Now, imagine walking through prehistoric Australia and encountering a giant bird that could look you in the eye, or even tower over you. This was Genuinus Newtoni, a flightless bird that stood 6.5 feet tall and weighed around 530 pounds. It resembled a modern emu but was much bulkier and more intimidating. Although not a predator, its sheer size made it a creature to be cautious around. Evidence suggests that early humans in Australia hunted these birds, as burned eggshells have been found in archaeological sites. Their massive eggs, larger than a football, might have been the ultimate prehistoric breakfast. While Genuinus is extinct, its closest living relative, the cassowary, is considered the world's most dangerous bird. Found in northern Australia and New Guinea, cassowaries can grow up to six feet tall and are known for their aggressive nature. With powerful legs and razor-sharp claws, a single kick from a cassowary can be fatal, making encounters with Genuinus potentially just as deadly for early humans. Now, let's talk about prehistoric kangaroos, ones that would make today's kangaroos look tiny. Meet Procoptodon, the giant short-faced kangaroo. It stood an incredible 10 feet tall and weighed about half a ton. Unlike modern kangaroos that hop, Procoptodon likely walked upright on two legs, looking more like a prehistoric heavyweight boxer. It had a short, wide face suited for eating tough vegetation, and its long arms could reach high branches. This massive kangaroo lived until about 45,000 years ago, though some evidence suggests it may have survived as recently as 18,000 years ago, meaning humans and these giants definitely crossed paths. While not a predator, its size and strength would have made it a dangerous animal to approach. Another strange prehistoric creature was Palacestes, the marsupial taper. It was a large herbivore with a body shaped like a bear, powerful claws like a ground sloth, and a small trunk like an elephant. Standing six feet tall at the shoulders, it was larger than any taper alive today. It could rear up on its hind legs to reach high branches and used its massive claws to strip bark from trees. While not a predator, it was likely dangerous to humans. Even modern-day tapers, which appear gentle, have been known to attack humans without warning, inflicting serious injuries. The prehistoric version was likely even more unpredictable. When thinking about Australia's most dangerous creatures, crocodiles often come to mind. Even today, they are among the most feared predators, known for their powerful jaws that can crush bones in one bite. But ancient Australia had an even scarier crocodile, Quincana, a land-dwelling crocodile that could run as fast as a horse. Unlike modern crocodiles, which waddle on short legs, Quincana had long legs designed for sprinting. Most fossils indicate an average size of 10 feet, but some specimens suggest they could grow up to 20 feet long. Unlike modern crocodiles that grip and drown their prey, Quincana had teeth designed for slicing, allowing it to take large chunks out of its victims. Imagine trying to outrun a crocodile that could sprint like a racehorse. If that wasn't terrifying enough, Prehistoric Australia was also home to Megalania prisca, the largest monitor lizard ever known. It reached up to 23 feet long and weighed over 1,300 pounds, about the size of a small car. This massive reptile had razor-sharp claws, serrated teeth, and a venomous bite that prevented blood from clotting, 
causing its prey to bleed out slowly. Its teeth were designed like steak knives to slice through flesh, while its powerful limbs helped it overpower large prey. Megalania likely hunted giant kangaroos and other large animals, but if it had the chance, it wouldn't have hesitated to attack humans. Imagine facing a venomous, 23-foot-long lizard that could outrun and overpower you, that's the nightmare Megalania brought to life. Prehistoric Australia was also home to giant snakes. One of the largest was Liasis dubudingula, an ancient relative of today's olive python. It stretched up to 33 feet long and weighed around 550 pounds. This snake was a master of ambush, hiding in rivers and forests, waiting for prey. Its immense strength allowed it to crush animals with ease, and it was large enough to swallow a human whole. Thankfully, it disappeared long before humans arrived in Australia, but it likely hunted giant kangaroos and other megafauna. The prehistoric oceans around Australia were just as terrifying. One of the most fearsome marine predators was Cronosaurus, a 36-foot-long marine reptile with a head twice the size of a T-Rex's. Its banana-sized teeth and powerful jaws could crush a small boat. It ruled the seas 120 million years ago, feeding on anything in its path. Another deep-sea predator was Ichthyosaur, which could grow up to 70 feet long. It had enormous eyes the size of dinner plates, allowing it to hunt in the dark depths of the ocean. But perhaps the most terrifying marine predator of all was Pliosaurus, a 50-foot-long beast with a head the size of a car, teeth longer than a human arm, and a bite force strong enough to crush a small whale. Its massive flippers allowed it to move through water faster than a speedboat. Another giant of the ancient seas was Leedsichthys, one of the largest fish ever, growing up to 50 feet long and weighing over 50 tons. Although it was a filter feeder, its sheer size made it an impressive sight. Then there was Liviaton, a prehistoric sperm whale with enormous teeth the size of wine bottles. Unlike modern sperm whales that eat squid, Liviaton hunted other whales. It also had powerful sonar organs that could produce sound waves strong enough to stun prey, even causing internal damage. Finally, we can't forget Megalodon, the largest shark ever known. While it hunted worldwide, Australia's waters were one of its favourite hunting grounds. It grew up to 60 feet long, three times the size of today's great white shark. Its jaws contained teeth over 7 inches long, with a bite force of 40,000 pounds, stronger than a T-Rex. Megalodon used speed and power to ambush its prey, biting off fins first to disable its victims before finishing them off. It could eat 2,500 pounds of food in one bite, the equivalent of swallowing an entire cow whole. These prehistoric creatures were some of the most terrifying to ever exist, making Australia's past as dangerous as its present. Prehistoric Australia was not the only place where giants once roamed the earth. Throughout history, various enormous creatures dominated different regions, leaving behind fossils that continue to amaze scientists. Among these colossal beings was Gigantopithus blackie, the largest primate ever to inhabit the planet. This massive ape thrived around two million years ago in China, Southeast Asia, and parts of India, living in dense forests filled with an abundance of fruits, seeds, grasses, and bamboo. Although no complete skeleton of G or blackie has ever been discovered, scientists have found jawbones and teeth, which provide insight into the creature's massive size. When examined, the upper molars were found to be nearly 58% larger than those of modern gorillas, while the lower molars were approximately 33% larger. Based on these findings, researchers estimate that Gigantopithus blackie weighed between 440 and 660 pounds or possibly more and stood about 9 to 10 feet tall when fully upright. However, due to its sheer mass, it was likely a knucklewalker rather than a true biped. Some scientists believe that G. L. Blackie primarily relied on bamboo for sustenance, supplementing its diet with shrubs, roots, seeds, and fruit. However, as the once lush, humid forests where it thrived began to disappear, giving way to mixed woodlands and grasslands, the supply of bamboo also diminished. The analysis of its teeth revealed pits and scratches, suggesting that in its final days, it may have been forced to consume bark and twigs from the forest floor. Unable to adapt to these drastic environmental changes, Gigantopithus blackie ultimately became extinct around 295,000 to 215,000 years ago.
While Gigantopithus was a giant among primates, another massive creature once roamed the landscapes of South and Central America during the Pleistocene epoch, Megatherium, commonly known as the giant sloth. This enormous mammal lived between 2.5 million and 11,000 years ago and could grow to an astonishing height of 20 feet when standing on its hind legs, making it one of the largest land mammals of its time. One of its most striking features was its set of enormous, curved claws, which grew up to a foot in length. These claws were likely used for grasping vegetation, stripping leaves from branches, and possibly for defense against predators. Although Megatherium was primarily herbivorous, some researchers speculate that it may have been an opportunistic omnivore, capable of crushing small animals if necessary. One of the most intriguing discoveries associated with Megatherium is the presence of massive tunnels, possibly dug by these giant sloths. Since 2009, more than 1,500 of these tunnels have been found, some stretching hundreds of feet in length and bearing giant claw marks. However, the exact reason behind their construction remains a mystery. Eventually, climate change and hunting by early humans contributed to the extinction of Megatherium americanum during the late Quaternary megafaunal extinction event. During the same period, and in the same region, another incredible creature thrived. Imagine an armadillo the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, weighing up to two tons, and you would have Glyptodon. This prehistoric mammal was heavily armored, with a massive shell made of bony plates called osteoderms, similar to those found in modern armadillos and tortoises. In 2020, phaglyptodon shells were uncovered by a farmer in Argentina, providing further insight into their incredible size. Some of these specimens measured over 10 feet in length, illustrating just how enormous they were. Living in the grasslands and woodlands of the Americas, Glyptodon used its powerful limbs and sturdy claws to forage for vegetation and defend itself from predators. Despite its formidable defenses, it eventually succumbed to the pressures of a changing world. Like Megatherium, Glyptodon went extinct roughly 10,000 years ago, likely due to human hunting. Early humans may have used their shells for shelter, making them a valuable resource. However, aside from humans, Glyptodon also had to contend with formidable predators, including the giant short-faced bear, Arctotherium. This enormous bear, whose name translates to bear beast, was one of the largest bears to have ever lived. Fossil evidence suggests that it could weigh up to 3,500 pounds and stand over 11 feet tall on its hind legs. Its robust build, powerful limbs, and sharp claws made it an apex predator, capable of preying on large mammals such as Glyptodon and possibly even Megatherium. As one of the dominant carnivores of its time, Arctotherium likely occupied the top of the food chain in its habitat. However, like many other massive prehistoric mammals, it eventually disappeared when its primary food sources went extinct. While massive bears roamed the Americas, in Eurasia, another giant walked the land, the steppe mammoth. This prehistoric elephant was one of the largest of its kind, standing approximately 13 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 12 tons. Its long, curved tusks, which could exceed 13 feet in length, were used for digging in search of food and defending against predators. Adapted to cold grassland environments, steppe mammoths primarily grazed on grasses, sedges, and other low-lying vegetation. Their fossils have been discovered across a vast range, from Western Europe to Siberia and China. Despite their impressive size and ecological importance, steppe mammoths eventually faced extinction during the late Pleistocene due to climate change, habitat loss, and human hunting. Among the largest terrestrial mammals to have ever walked the earth was Indracotherium, also known as the Siberian unicorn. This behemoth existed approximately 34 to 23 million years ago in Central Asia, where fossils have been uncovered in modern-day Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and China. Towering at a height of 16 to 18 feet at the shoulder and weighing between 15 and 20 tons, roughly equivalent to three fully grown African elephants, Indracotherium was one of the largest land mammals to have ever lived. Though it slightly resembled a modern rhinoceros, it was not directly related but rather shared a common ancestor. Its massive size was likely an adaptation to browsing on high branches in forested habitats, and it possessed a long, flexible neck for reaching vegetation. The exact cause of its extinction remains uncertain, but changes in vegetation patterns and competition with other large herbivores may have contributed to its demise. While herbivores like Indracotherium grew to astonishing sizes, 
so too did carnivorous mammals. Andrew Sarkis, a colossal predator from the Eocene epoch, is primarily known from a single skull discovered in Mongolia. This skull, measuring over 83 centimeters in length, suggests that Andrew Sarkis was a formidable predator, likely capable of taking down large prey with its powerful bite. However, much about this animal remains a mystery due to the limited fossil evidence. Prehistoric rodents also reached unprecedented sizes, with Josepho Artigasia manisi holding the title of the largest rodent ever discovered. This extinct species, which lived around 2 to 4 million years ago in Uruguay, had a skull over 20 inches long, suggesting a body size comparable to that of a bull. Its enormous incisors, measuring up to 12 inches in length, may have been used for accessing vegetation, digging burrows, or defending against predators. The reasons for its extinction remain unclear, but environmental changes and competition with other species likely played a role. Many other prehistoric mammals and birds reached extraordinary sizes, from Titanotylopus, a giant camel that roamed North America, to Phorusricos, a fearsome flightless bird known as a Ktera bird. These immense creatures once dominated their respective ecosystems, shaping prehistoric landscapes. However, climate change, habitat loss, and human activities eventually led to their extinction, leaving behind only fossils and scientific speculation about what the world was like when they ruled the earth.